Neil, an exhilarating afternoon. It was, yeah. I, um, I'm exhilarated by our performance. I'm exhilarated by the quality of our goals. I was exhilarated by the 30 minutes, first 30 minutes of the second half. I thought we were okay first half, but again, there was a little bit of anxiety in our, our play in the final third, but our build-up play again was good. It was a good tempo to the game, you know, but second half, magnificent. We, we created the architects our own downfall for you know, their goal, but straight away Joe's in and, and should have killed the game off again. So we had a little rough period, but you're going to get that with the position that we're in. And 2-0 is a very funny scoreline when a team gets one back. Psychologically, the game changes. But, you know, Big Craig came on, did brilliant, took his goal great. And it's been a very, very good day for us. And I can't thank the supporters enough who created an electric atmosphere today. It felt like Salt Lake Park in front of the 60,000. I don't know how many was there today, but the, the noise was incredible. Yeah, uh, you can you can sense that there's a belief that's re-emerging around the club, and I think the supporters certainly are buying into that. It's important, you know, it's important to have that association and connection, and the supporters want it. They love their club, so we have to, you know, maintain that. But I'm, you know, cautiously optimistic. We've got Norwich and Cardiff to come now, who are last season Premier League teams, so it's going to be a step up in class for us. But I think on that performance, there's enough to know that we can certainly compete. Yeah, there's some real quality in this squad. Um, you've touched on the last couple of games, maybe. You need that bit more composure in the final third. I think certainly in, in the case of Mark Davis's goal today, oh. that, that is the word with a capital C, isn't it? People keep telling me he's a good player, you know, and slowly but surely but we're starting to see him. I mean, if you have a player like him and, and Lee who can get you off your seat, that's what people want to see. But he, he delivered. It was a magnificent goal. And Dan's goal was magnificent. And he has been fantastic over the three games I've been here. So... What we're getting out of them now is their potential. Well, what, what do you call the potential? Or their their all-round games now are starting to come to the fore. Mills has been a rock. Him and David have been excellent. The goalkeeper's been excellent. So, in terms of the reaction I've had over the three games, I couldn't have asked for any more. You mentioned obviously uh, when they got it back to two-one, there was a bit of edginess crept in. Clearly, given the season we've had up to now, yeah. that's going to take time. But we still went on there today and got that third goal. That's right. Yeah, but even if you were in mid-table or in the playoff position. A 2-0, and I've experienced mm. it myself in games up, yeah. up the road. There's an anxiety creeps in, you know, and we dealt with it. You know, let's just say we dealt. I don't think there are too many near misses, but we, again, we were sort of snatching at clearances and couldn't keep the ball enough. But then when we did attack, we looked a, a real threat, you know. And J Jermaine, for all his missed chances, his work rate second half was brilliant. And he set the tone for the second half. Two difficult away games coming up now, and uh, but the confidence is growing going into those, and it'll be a good test for you, won't it? It'll be a great test. You know, it'll be a great test to see where we are. I think Norwich were probably most people's favourites going into the, the season, and they've made a decent start. And and Cardiff are, you know, you said, you know, and um, you've got a new manager who knows the the championship lower leagues very very well. So we have to be um, well prepared for both. Thank you, Neil. Well done.